You're watching an RH Reality Check production brought to you by rhrealitycheck.org. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us. Wausau, Wisconsin is a small manufacturing city 150 miles north of Madison, in the heart of Wisconsin's dairy region, the last metropolitan area before you reach the vast forests that make up the Wisconsin River Valley in the northwestern part of the state. Wausau is a largely Roman Catholic city in a state where nearly one-third of hospitals and medical clinics are owned by the Catholic Church. But since the church doesn't support contraception of any kind, many people think family planning services are much needed in this predominantly Catholic state. Women can't fully participate as citizens uh, if they're not able to determine for themselves whether and when to have children. But many in the area are not happy about this kind of counseling. Normally, protests like these wouldn't be too surprising. But since Family Planning Health Services doesn't provide abortions, and its federal grant restrictions don't even allow them to make medical referrals for abortions, it's a unique situation. The protesters have been a little bit of a puzzlement to us. Um, they've been here now for a couple of years, routinely, about every week. And they appear at about three of our locations. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Don't you think that in, in extreme cases that emergency contraception should still, should still exist? Absolutely not, because people seem to forget the most, the most important issue. Why would you want to murder a child? Yeah, Once a like, child is conceived, a child is a child, a person is a person, no matter how small. Chemical contraception kills the child and hurts the woman's body. Um, condoms encourage women to be used. And men, okay, we just can open up another condom and go have sex with them, with no repercussions. It's just encouraging more usury, which is not something that we want either. So no contraception? No. If you can't... If you want to have sex, make sure you can handle the consequences, which are children. And with artificial contraception, it's like telling your husband, well, you can talk Thanks. to me, but first let me put in earplugs. <laughs> oh, you can have part of me, but not all of it. To me, that's not a marriage. Total commitment involves what God provides. So do you believe that these things should be made illegal? Um, yes. I think I would go that far. I, I guess I have a little of experience with this. I'm carrying my 12th baby in the womb right now. Do you realize the side effects of just taking the pill? Women have strokes, blood clots, embolisms. They die every day from taking just the pill or the morning after pill. Are you guys picketing with the goal of having this clinic closed? Yes. After more than a year of having his clinic picketed and his patients harassed, Newman decided to fight back by hiring a lawyer. I represent um, the Family Planning Health Services when it comes to a, a number of issues, among them uh, the opportunity for them to provide unimpeded access to contraceptives to their patients and clients. Uh, obviously, the protesters have a First Amendment right to speak their mind on this issue, um, and they should be afforded the opportunity to, to uh, express that. But they don't need to necessarily have an opportunity to do that in a fashion that impedes the privacy rights, which are also constitutional, of those using the clinic, and also endanger the safety of everybody involved. The safety endangerment she's talking about is the basis of a proposed lawsuit which aims to move the protesters away from Family Planning Health Services' drive through window, where women have been harassed while picking up their prescriptions. When the protesters are in the area to the passenger side as the person exit, 
they are obstructing the visibility for the driver exiting. And also, if they're holding signs up, uh, that creates an additional potential obstacle to visibility. But it's not just the safety of the patients who use the drive through window that Newman is worried about. He's also apprehensive that the recent violence at abortion clinics across the country could spill over to his family planning clinic. Of course, we're especially mindful after the Teller uh, murder that sometimes not they themselves are uh, violent, uh, but they tend to attract sometimes people who may be violent or may be prone to violence. I could see why Newman gets worried. A conversation with protesters like this one inevitably focuses on murder. We always have a choice to kill, right? So I could kill you right now, is that right? Um, is, I suppose that you my, could, Isn't but that it's, my choice? Yeah, it's your choice, yeah. Is it right? No. You know, because you're 25 years old, and this unborn child is maybe 17 weeks old, so I can kill that baby, but I shouldn't kill you? I mean, there's no difference. Meanwhile, Newman is eager to continue providing essential family planning services to the women of central Wisconsin. I'm very proud of what results we've had in terms of preventing probably 100 abortions a year, uh, maybe more, and, and probably 200 unintended pregnancies a year. This is life changing. This is why we're here. Not just to prevent abortions, but we're here so that women and their families can determine for themselves whether and when to have children. And I see EC as being huge success in our clinics. Mm -hmm.